Hey everyone, it's Alia. Welcome back to my channel. So today's gonna be like a vlog style video. Um, I'm actually gonna go to Joanne's because I'm trying to make a green backdrop for um, a green screen basically is what I'm trying to do. So I'm about to go to Joanne's right now before I have to pick up my little brother and get that. Also, if you haven't visited my website to check out the headbands, don't forget to do that. They're 3 for 15. Yes. So yeah, I'm just going to go to Joanne's and get the fabric already to my calculator. I already know like how wide I need the fabric, but not how long I should get it. So I need to figure that out when I get there. But I'm only going to have like 10 minutes in the store or whatever. So yeah, I got my coupons right here like just a mini tutorial on like making this and that way i can practice my angle setup for um whenever i'm sewing and my collection stuff still working on that right now i am grading patterns so i just did the i graded the sleeve and the pants um over the past like couple days now i've just been um passively working on it so these are this is the sleeve right here, and this is the pants. So I need to sew, I need to sew them up and attach the sleeve to the bodice to see how it fits me if I like it, and sew the pants to make sure that they're a good fit. So anyway, so yeah, that's where I am as far as my collection goes. And honestly, I can do the patterns for these for the entire collection in like a day if I went if I really just sit down and do it and just knock it out. So hopefully. I'm really hoping I'm going to sew these back when I come home. So whenever I come back home and I sew them up and everything fits, I'm going to be so, 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 so happy. Like, oh my God, yes, I have a hat, I have a hat. And then I can start doing my patterns because I'm ready to just knock it out. And I also need to order some stuff. But anyways, let's go to the store. <sighs> Okay, so I'm finally here. Ooh, ooh. Oh, this thread. Mm -hmm. It's a thread. I meant fabric. Let me see. I don't know. How green. This seems really dark. And it's showing up kind of... Uh-uh. I think this be the better green to get Ugh. chartreuse and then this is a grass green hmm. Hmm. it's the same chartreuse I think, I feel like this will be better. It'll read better. This looks like the same. Okay, so how wide is this? This one is... Mm -hmm. 44, okay, so I need it to be 60 inches wide. Now I'm thinking if I should put a seam in it. Oh look, there's this. The Kelly Green. I think Kelly Green might be better. Is this the same thing? Looks like it. And how wide is this? Hmm, this is still 44. Ooh. This is really bright. 44 inches. Okay, so I'm going to, I think I'm going to decide on the Kelly Green, but let me see what's this one about. Okay. All right, let me do some math really fast. Okay, so I think I'm going to go to the like, um, 
the other kind of fabric for like outdoor stuff and check out those because I'm not really liking these. This is fleece. Ooh. Okay, you know, I'm just gonna get the regular fabric back over there. Okay, so I ran out of time in there, so I'm just about to go grab my brother really fast and then come back to Joanne's. I'm not even going to tell him that we're coming here because yesterday I wanted to stop here and he was like I just want to go home and eat food. You always want to take me everywhere. Go by yourself. And I'm just like what? So yeah, let's go get him. And then he can be my camera person because I felt really weird taking my camera in there so I just recorded it on my phone. Yeah. <laughs> huh. I'm thinking. Let me get this one. Huh. Um, yeah. I am not doing it. What? <laughs> What's funny? Nothing. Okay, let's go over here. Before. Let's go down this one. <laughs> <laughs> nothing's funny. Okay, nothing's funny. I'm just recording at you. Okay. Okay, so I just got the fabric cut and I do need to source some fabric for something that I'm working on, what well, I plan to work on. So I'm just gonna look at them really, really fast while my assistant is driving the cart. Mello, can you come on? I'm over here. Stop playing around. Come here, please. I don't know if I'm feeling these. Stop playing, Romello. Come here. Yeah, I'm not feeling how these are feeling at all. Oh, this might be a problem. yeah stop so the lady at the counter said that this is probably the right green for the green screen so i just went ahead and got out of it and i got this and coupons and i need more <sighs> okay so i just left joe ann's and i think anyways so i think overall i saved like 20 dollars but i'll go over all that when i get to the house Okay, so I've been back home for a couple hours now. I just took a break and stuff. So I um I put up the green screen right there to test it out. So yes, I tested out the green screen and um it was the right color green. Okay, I'm about to show you guys. Oh my laptop. Okay, so this is okay this is just me being weird for a 30 second clip and moving and stuff so it does work and right here you guys can see the clip of me with the green screen and then right here the picture that i inserted and this is final Cut pro so you have to use the cure thing when you drop the thing. 
so honestly i didn't pay that much for everything let me show you guys my receipts okay so everything came up to 1916 but that's with coupons i used three 50 percent off coupons one on the fabric because it was regular price and i ended up getting four yards of the fabric but um well i'll get to that in a minute so i just got four yards of the fabric anyway so yeah so down here it tells you how much i saved which is like 17 72 and that's with the coupons so i usually don't go to joanne's um unless i have a coupon to buy something but um which is really good because they send me when you sign up for their thing you get the mailer and they have the app and they have their website where they have coupons but they don't put a lot of coupons on the website anymore since they want you to download the app but you can use when you get this you can use this and you can use the app the coupons in the app because they all um end in different numbers so you can use it as long as you know the numbers are different you can use it on the same transaction anyway, so i'm going to talk about the thread okay so i got these uh the three spools of thread because uh i'm going to do it on my cover stitch machine i'm just going to use my cover stitch machine for everything um because it's just so like so long so much fabric i'm just gonna fold the edges over it and do it on the cover stitch I just feel like it's just going to save me so much time. <sighs> Sorry, something bothering my eye. So I just feel like it's going to save me so much time if I just do it like that. So anyways, yeah, that's what I plan on doing. I'm just going to use it on the cover stitch machine. The girl and I talked about it. Because she was like, at first I wasn't going to get this like four yards. I was just going to get two and see how it is. Because I was like iffy about putting a seam in it. But the girl was like, yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the right green so i was like okay so i got that i got this green it's the kelly green because you want to get like i thought about getting a lime green but lime green is kind of is more on the lighter side and then when i have the lights hitting it you know it's probably going to be like a little washed out and stuff when it appears on camera so i felt like this green was nice and darker and was like perfect for what i'm trying to do i'm kind of i just want to get this done tonight it's 7:14. So yeah. <laughs> Yo, I haven't I done a lot today, but not really a lot, but it feels like a lot. But yeah. <laughs> you guys, so to make the green screen, of course you're gonna need um the a deep green. I would say a deep green fabric. This is Kelly Green fabric. So a Kelly Green. And of course you need matching thread. Some pins. A seam gauge, of course, and a good pair of fabric scissors. And I will be leaving a link in the description to these. These are the best fabric scissors in the world. Feels like you're cutting butter. Okay, and you will also be needing an iron, a good iron, a nice iron that can press with good steam. And this is the, this is like the best iron ever. It's like the closest thing to an industrial um iron so i'll also leave a link to this in the description box okay so i just um i folded the fabric because it was already like folded like this you know how you get it on the bolt and um this was the half line i just like you know just even it out down there and i cut it in half like this and now i'm just going to so this piece to this piece so the seam will be coming down um vertically on my when it's hung up on the um the backdrop thing <laughs> so i'm just gonna do that as a straight stitch on my straight stitch machine using the green thread so i'm just yeah i'm gonna pin it i'm not gonna <laughs> I'm not going to skip around in any steps. I am going to pin it. I don't think I'm going to cut any of this off. And let me see. I can probably... I'll just sew it at this half. Yeah, I can just do a half. 
yeah i'm just gonna sew it at a half inch right here so um i'll see you guys at the sewing machine okay here we go and i pause my crime junkie podcast just to do this the seam open so now I'm going to press the seams open get my iron here it's nice and steamy this is the iron that I like to use it's really oh look this is the other yes I got it on Amazon I'll leave a link in the description box I just like to iron the sides first <laughs> and then let's go in and just bust the seams bust the seams bust the seams okay well I'm gonna go iron the rest that you guys might or might not see okay I don't know so we already know how this is going to be the vertical line down there so this will be the top piece so I'm just going to fold it over and go straight across hold on let me see how wide I should make it first okay. okay so I have no idea where my measuring tape went so I have some yarn and I'm just gonna loop that over the um the bar right here okay so yes so I have the bar right here so I'm just gonna loop it over and see how um yeah okay, so it's sliding over those will probably be a comfortable amount right here so I need to fold over this much and like only like this much it's gonna be cover stitch so I feel like that's enough room so I need to measure that right there this damn camera all right so I'm gonna take this out lay it out like that got my ruler here and that is six yep six can you guys see that i don't know but it's a six so i'm gonna be folding no that doesn't make any sense <laughs> oh my god six okay so it's three it's three it's three okay i need to fold over three inches <laughs> i promise you i do no mats but okay <laughs> Okay, so this is the top right here, and honestly, um, I'm not gonna really, I'm not even gonna press it like normally you would like press something like this, but I'm just going to um, at least do like from this end right here to this end. I'm just gonna pin it at the three, and hopefully like create a good crease, and I'll know on my cover stitch machine that I am being consistent and everything but first I need to do the ends over here so we're gonna do these first because that makes more sense so I think I'm just gonna fold it over the half 
Yeah, that'll work. I can do an inch. No, that'd be too much. Okay, so I think I'm just going to fold it in probably like three-fourths. This looks about three-fourths right here. And just do cover stitch right there. And I'm going to cover stitch the other side. And yeah. Okay, so I have it pinned a couple inches down. And I'm um, just going to go with my cover stitch machine. And um, just get it all... Okay, so let me show you guys how it's looking back here. Wait, can you see it? Oh, yeah, here it is. Yeah, how it's, this is how it's looking back here. This is just the salvage since I didn't cut that off. But this is just the back, so. It's nice and pretty. Can you see? Is it focusing? Okay, there we go. Yup, it's just nice and pretty. And I'm just feeling it and then also I'm feeling it on the back and then also I know that a little, just a little is going to be uh, over there. Ugh, okay, this got pretty messy. Oh my god, look, look at okay, yup. So, but it's okay because I, I do know it is wider, it is wider than how I need it to be. So, as long as the edges are finished, it's gonna be okay. I'm just gonna do what I needed to do. But if you get exact pieces of fabric, then um, you would want to make sure it's, you know. So I'm going to do the other side and I'll come back on when I'm ready to do the top. Okay, so this edge is the edge that I cut because I cut it in half. So for this one, I'm going to make sure that I do catch the raw edge in this right here. So I'm not going to make it too um, big, but I'm just going to make it like just big enough um, to catch. And I'm just going to use the outside of the presser foot as a guide. Let me zoom in. Yeah, so I think that'll be best for me to use the outside of the presser foot as a guide while I am doing all of this. So let me see. Okay, so this is how I want it. And yeah. And this is for the bottom. So I'm done. 
this is how it's looking it did get a little wacky in some places and my cover stitch is skipping stitches i'm not sure why i usually don't do opens on it i'm usually doing like knits so maybe something to do with the settings no idea but yeah i'll have to go back and fix that okay so this is the three inches right here for the rod to slip through so i am going to go to the iron and press right here and pin that way the line stays crisp and i can do it evenly since i do want this to be even so whenever it falls it hangs it's like you know nice kind of smooth and stuff like that so that part I am going to be precise with and iron. So I'll be right back when I'm done ironing. Okay, so I'm back and you can see it's nice and pressed right here. So, and this is where the rod's going to go in at the top. <clears throat> so I'm just going to put it to catch the, um, Make sure I catch that raw edge because it's raw and we don't want it to fray everywhere. Okay, so, oh my god, it keeps skipping, but, uh, okay, so, I think I got it pretty close, which is good, and it keeps skipping, it's so irritating, it's gonna irritate me, but, yeah, this is how the top looks, and I'm gonna put it on the rod right now. Okay, everyone, so this is the finished backdrop behind me. And now I'm going to change the background so you guys see that it actually works. Oh, yeah. I'm so excited. I can't believe this worked out. Okay, now I'm going to show you guys how it looks. Okay, so it it is a little... I knew it was going to be a little bit long, longer. And, um... This is the seam right here in the middle. And you can still see the little bunching over there. So that's fine because this can extend up to 10 feet, like wider. So I can add one other rod in here if I need. Is it one? I think I can do it with one. So three rods, because right now it's two up there. So anyways, so I just pulled this over here to the side. And over there because I don't know if it needs to be like you know smooth or anything whenever I do change the background so I just did that just in case it needs that but yeah it looks okay I just need to iron it and stuff but I am pleased with how it came out anyways I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog type of mini like so long kind of thing so I would say that if you don't have a um, a cover stitch machine, you can just do it all on your straight stitch machine. But I would, or or you can even like serge all the edges and well, serge all the edges, like all four sides, serge it. And then for the top, for the rod to go through, you just like, you know, flip it the three inches or whatever wide you need it. And then just put it through on the stage the straight stitch machine but I don't know I just wanted to finish off my ends yeah I just wanted to finish off the ends make sure that you know it's nice and neat so this can be something that I can like use and reuse and keep using until I can't use it no more 
so yeah that's that on that so anyways but yeah that's it for this video if you guys enjoy be sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to shop the headband sale 3 for 15 on the website and use code YouTube so I can do the discount for you and see like I'm gonna have more videos coming soon because I did tell you guys at the beginning that I graded those um patterns so that's my next thing to work on but right now it's mad late it's 11 18 but yeah so okay thumbs up this video and i'll see y'all in my next one bye can you see me yes okay am i far away can no you put your finger in the lens <laughs> Hold it like this. Like this. I can't. Oh, like this. There you go. Okay. <laughs> I hope you didn't press. Hold on, let me see. Can I press it? Okay, good. <laughs> do you see me in the camera? Yeah. <laughs> no, do you see me? Do you see my eyes on the camera? No, you don't. I am waiting. Could you hurry up and let me just take a picture? Can I take a picture now? Do I have to take a picture now? Hold on. I'm looking. Um. Let me mind here. No. Supposed to be recording. Nobody sees me. Okay. Stop. <laughs> Stop Wait. It. Ah. Um, I'm over here. Okay. You can come closer. Are you putting it closer? No. Oh my goodness. I'm looking everywhere. Okay, well hold on, I'm almost done. Okay.